She's uh, also a candidate for a medal. Yeah, before her uh, Olympic Games, she took a few medals in the World Games uh, uh, two years ago. She's a really good skater from China. But yeah. we have to see how good she is after uh, winter of ice skating, of the Olympics, of maybe partying after Olympics because, because he got there. We have to see how good she is. The yeah. Colombian girls are taking the lead now. Oh no, the Ardin girl from Argentina is in the lead. And yeah, Fabiani Agrias is already in second position. Martos. And we see Marijke Groenewoud uh, op kop van het peloton. Zij gaat nu in de leiding. Het is vooral be belangrijk om niet te veel energie te verspillen op dit moment. Het gaat nog helemaal nergens over. Er zijn nog geen afvallingen, energie sparen. Maar op kop van de peloton zit je vaak net even iets rustiger dan midden in het gedruin. Waar de kans op valpartijen groot is. En waar er van alle kanten tegen je aangeduwd wordt. Ja, yeah, we zien de Italian girls in front of the Colombian girls. So they are already looking for each other now. It's a, the girl from Chinese Taipei is in the lead now with the pink helmet. She's it's leading the race. Number uh, 25, Meng Chu Li. Now Maya de Jong is taking over. Ja, het is belangrijk dat de Nederlandse dames elkaar weten te vinden. Als je bij elkaar bent, dan maak je toch over het algemeen een sterke blok in de race. Waardoor uh, concurrenten minder snel geneigd te zijn om er uh, tussen te willen. Dus het is belangrijk eigenlijk dat Marijke Groenewoud zo snel mogelijk opschuift. En als zij de koprouw vandaag is achter Maaier de Jong gaat zitten, dan zit ze en minder in het gedraan. En er zal minder gevochten worden uh, om voor of achter haar te zitten. Ja, we zien nu eigenlijk continu wisselingen van posities voorin, achterin. Alles, uh, ja, je ziet de hele tijd een tweede lijn opkomen. Ja, yeah, we zien een slow start of the race. It's always the elimination race. There are no eliminations the first 30 laps. So everyone is trying to get in the best position. And Oh, yeah, Not to waste too much energy in this first half of the race. We got 36 laps without happening anything. 76 laps to go. 67. Sorry. Uh, the Italian girls with uh, Lo Julia Lollobrigida and Francesca Lollobrigida in second and third position. They are already there. Well, then the Colombian skaters cannot be far away. But they uh, are actually. They're in the middle of the pack, just trying to don't waste too much energy. Oh, Jan, you said first elimination at 39, but it's already there. Is it already happening? It's already happening, and we are uh, going further without Sofia Serrano from Brazil. Well, my apologies, and I heard it wrong. Well, it's better for us because it makes the race much more interesting. I leave your coffee where it is. Keep your eyes on the race from now on. So we're looking at the back of the race, and Anke Foss is there, and she's in the wrong position now. She has only a girl from Brazil behind her, so if she wants to stay in the race, she has to move up. Well, she moves up, and it seems to like the girl from Brazil. Larissa de Oliveira Pires. Is the second out of the race, so the first two eliminations are the girls from Brazil. All the way from Brazil for just a few laps. So the bell rings for the third elimination. It's a girl from India who is in the last position. But she's still got a lap to move up. Also, the Argentina girl is having a hard time. And we see the Korean girl in front, followed by uh, the sisters Lola Brichida and the Spanish girl. Oh, and this is a close finish, but I think the girl from India is in the last position. Number 55 from India, Rachita Rachita. And in the meanwhile, the girls from Spain are moving up to the front of the race. Spain is also a good team in this race. Um, we have to see 
who are in this race that are... So we have Maya Len Onyate and, no, and Maite Ansen. Okay, Anke Foss is in the last position now. She has to move up to stay in the race. She moves up. And it is number... 96 from Mexico. Osiris Giron Garcia. Oh, there's a crash from Ecuador. A crash from Ecuador. This is the former junior world champion, Gabriela Vargas. Ay, 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 ay. You know what's happening in an elimination, Aeon? Well, when you crash, it's hard to come back well, into the it's race. near to impossible because the bell has already ringed. And she will yeah, be impossible. eliminated. Yeah, it's impossible. Only when we have a crash here, but it's not happening for her. So in the front of the race, we see the girls from France, Chinese Taipei, and also Maya, the young from the Netherlands, is in the front. She's there alone. Marek Kunwal is in the middle of the pack. Yeah. And the girl from Argentina is now in the back of the pack. Still, Anka Voss is there. She has to move up if she wants to continue in this race. Yeah, Anka Voss just raced the uh, thousand meter semi final. Now we have to say goodbye to the girl from Hungary, Eleonora Kopilovic. En ondertussen zijn de dames van Zuid-Korea opgeschoven naar de eerste twee plaatsen in de wedstrijd. Gevolgd door Sabine Berg uit Duitsland. Dat is de eerste keer dat we haar voorin zien. Dat is over het algemeen een goed teken. De rijders die je het minst ziet voor aan de wedstrijd, die zie je vaak verschuilen in het peloton. Veel energie sparen. En als de finale eraan komt, dan zijn ze daar ineens. Dat is ook de kracht van die rijders en het geheim van de afvalkoers. Energie sparen, energie sparen. Zoveel mogelijk en dan in de finale toeslaan. Yeah. And Maria Herrero from Argentina is out. Ondertussen zien we Marijke Groenewoud eigenlijk iets te veel van achter. Ze moet opschuiven. Maar ze lijkt er al een beetje doorheen te zitten. Dat is niet een goed teken. In de meanwhile, South Korea is still leading in front of Colombia and Italy. The best teams probably in this race are in front now. Also, Maya has to move up more to the front. We have to say goodbye to Anke Vos now. Number six. So Sandrine has to do it all by herself now. Yeah, in the front of the race is still South Korea. They are a country who can do this really strong. Sandrine Tass is moving up. She tries to go behind the South Korean girls. But there's no place, so she's back in the main pack. And we've done Guo in the lead. Now um, Mayalen Onyate from Spain, who's taking over. And it's Marijke Groenewoud, helemaal achteraan, die valt bijna. And it's Marijke Groenewoud, die als eerste de Nederlandse de wedstrijd moet verlaten. It's toch een teleurstellend resultaat. We gaan kijken of Maya de Jong een beter resultaat kan neerzetten deze wedstrijd. Het is nu Colombia die de wedstrijd aanvoert, maar gelijk een nieuwe leidster in de wedstrijd uit Chinese Taipei. Ja, het is Meng Chu Li van Taipei, Chinese Taipei. So there are 47 laps to go and we have the next elimination here and it's a girl from Japan who is eliminated. 64, Kira Yasukata Taka from uh, Japan. So we see now Darian O'Neill from USA in the back. Also the other girl from USA. And Sabine Berg. She's also in the back of the peloton. Yeah, but a good Sabine Burke can be the whole race in the back and still win the race. Don't know if she's still able to do that, but as you can see, see she's still in the race. Oh, and the girl from Chinese Taipei was in the back. But Kelsey Hellman from USA is out now. In the meanwhile, Sandrina Tass from Belgium is leading the race. Without a teammate, it's really hard 
to take this race in control. She sees the two Colombian girls behind her cruising in that position, followed by the Italian girls. And now the French girls on the outside. We see another Japanese girl in the back. Number 63. Ja, en ondertussen zien we toch wel een hele sterke Maya de Jong. Ze schuift heel eenvoudig mee naar voren. Ze zet hem brutaal voor de Colombiaanse. Ze zit nu zelfs in de vijfde positie. Dat is een perfecte positie voor haar. Ongelooflijk hoe zij het doet tijdens haar eerste wereldkampioenschap. Ja, yeah, she made a huge step this year. In the nationals, she made a mistake and then became sixth in the elimination race. Maybe she can be here six too. That that will be an awesome result for her. But we have now to say goodbye to Arati Kasturi Raj from India, the girl who forgot her transponder. So and Colombia is taking over the lead. They are in first and second position. The French girls are skating really smooth all the time on the outside. Try to waste not too much energy. And they are taking the lead now. The two girls moving up there. And Sandrina Tuss is now behind them. Or between them actually. And Mario. Ooh. Close call. Or Darian O'Neill from USA. Nou, dat is Maar de Jong die zo net nog helemaal voor in de wedstrijd zat. Hangt nu aan het staartje van de groep. Ze With moet echt opschuiven. Het lijkt erop dat ze er redelijk door zit. Maar ze moet nu zorgen dat ze niet als laatste over de finish komt. De volgende keer dat ze de lijn passeren. Want dan moet ze de wedstrijd verlaten. We also see Dan Guo in the back of the peloton. Yes, she can move up. Maya is safe. And I think we have to say goodbye to the girl from Chinese Taipei, number 25, Meng Ali Chu. South Korea is leading the race just in front of Sandrine Tas from Belgium and the Colombian girls. It's a big fight for the back of the South Korean girls. The strong South Korean girls are leading the race. And we didn't see much of the Lola Bijida sisters, huh? No, but it's still 35 laps to go. So we just passed halfway the race. Oh, it's and again. We, ooh, it's an, another close call. It will be uh, 87, Nadia Wenger from Swiss. So the Swiss girl has to leave the race. And that means the Dutch girl is still in there. We heard the people from the crowd screaming for Maya, the last Dutch girl in this race. Uh, but you also see the girl from Argentina. Uh, she's moving up really good on the inside. No, I think we have to say goodbye to Maya in this race. Yes, so we don't have any Dutch girls in this race anymore. Well, that is jammer. The two Nederlands dames die hier aan het vertrek komen hebben de wedstrijd moeten verlaten. We gaan het doen zonder de Nederlandse dames, maar met een heleboel andere in een ontzettend sterk veld. We zien Zuid-Korea in de eerste positie gevolgd door de Colombianen en Italië. De Italianen zitten daar nog steeds, zoals eigenlijk al de hele wedstrijd net achter de eerste ruiters. Energiesparend. Korea is now moving the wrong way. 85 from Spain, Mayalen Onyate. It's leaving the race now. So it's now 30 laps to go. Sandrina Tas from Belgium is leading for 30 laps. So we're far over halfway the race. I think there are around 15 skaters left. Um, we see two girls from South Korea, two girls from Italy, two girls from Colombia. Two girls from France, so they are the strongest teams now. Two girls from Chinese Taipei too, but they're not together. Ooh, I think this is the Korean girl. 83, Seal Lee. 
Korea out of the race. Oh, that's how far the elimination race always can be. She's not leaving the race yet. I didn't think she heard it or she knew she was in the last position, so she's still there. Still Sometimes there. English is a problem for them, but oh. she understands now. We still see the Hungarian girl, Gardi, battling. That's She's a good making a good move now, but we'll... Yeah, it's enough. It's Argentina with Next number one, Cynthia Martos. As the race is moving on, we see less and less skaters. We finish up with five girls. So we have to skate 26 more laps until we know the winner of this race. So it's now the French girl who's in the lead in front of the girl from Chinese Taipei and Spain. Yeah, it's Marine Lefebvre from France. Ooh. Oh, and her teammate is in the back of the peloton and she passed the finish line in last position. So C is eliminated. Juliette Puidaba. So we're coming closer and closer to the final with 24 laps to go. We see the Korean girl moving up to the front. It's a really tall Korean girl. Yeah, so as you said, Sabina Burke is still there. She was uh, in the elimination zone 10 uh -huh. laps ago, and she's still in the Ooh, elimination zone. Ooh, close uh. call. Also with Julia Lolobricida there. Go from Ecuador. Ah, Julia Lolobricida has to leave the race. Ooh, that's a big surprise, and that means her big sister has to do it all by herself. Sabine Berg is still going strong in the back of the peloton. So Sabine Burke in last position. Can she do it again? Can she pass someone on the line? No, no, no. 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 That was the last one. That she was the last sprint from the German woman. Sabine Burke out of the race, and we're moving on with 16 girls. And her teammate Larissa Geiser is still in the race. She's doing strong. She's, she's in the back of the pack girl. now. Yeah. She's in the wrong decision. No, Ooh, and this the is going to be Chile. a really close call. I think the girl from Chile. But it also could be, yes, Alejandra Tras Lavinia from Chile is out of the race now. That's a surprise. Also for herself, I guess, because she's still skating. Yeah, so the bell rang again. So the girl from... Who's that in the last position now? It's a girl from Ecuador. But she's already out, right? No, no, no. We have okay. two girls from Ecuador. The girl from Chile is out. Ooh, so this close is call. Ooh. I think the girl from Ecuador yeah, was in the last she, position. Yeah, it is Emma Claire Townshit. So, Francesca Lollobrigida, the winner of last World Championships on this distance, is leading the race now with 16 laps to go. It's too early to say who are, who is the favorite in this race, but the Colombian girls are working really good together. And they are still with two. We have 11 girls. 10 singles, or 9 for a geyser. It's absolutely a good result. She's moving up now. She looks strong. She's moving up. And the Colombian girls are... Yeah, they're moving up again. They look really strong. So Drina Tass in second position. Lola Brigida in third. And now the battle for the last position. The girl from Spain seems to be in last position. Yes. Yes, it's Maite Ansen from Spain. Only 12 laps to go. And then we know who's the world champion on this distance. The girl from South Korea now is in the back. With the girl from Chinese Taipei. Ooh, but the girl from South Korea is moving up. And the girl from Chinese Taipei looks tired. She's with a hand on her knees. 
She's in the last position. Can she pass someone on the finishing straight? Yes, yes. you can. We have to say goodbye to the girl from South Korea, number 82, Woo Yi-Suk. So the two girls from South Korea are out now. Yes. So we have two Colombians, one Belgium, one from Italy, one girl from Chinese ta China, one girl from France, one from China Taipei, and one German girl. Yes, yeah, still the little German girl, Larissa Geiser. And also Dan Huao from China is still in the race. Yeah. In fifth position. The Colombians are in the lead. Now who's going to be eliminated? Ooh, is it? She's, oh, yes, she made it. I think we have to say goodbye to the girl from Chinese Taipei. And that would be Yang Ho Chen. So with eight laps to go, seven skaters are still contending to be the world champion on this distance. Two Colombians, one Belgian, one from Italy. Marine Lefebvre from France. Dan Juan and Larissa. When I see this, China. I think Johanna Viveros is the, the, the girl who has to do it for Colombia. The woman in second position. Yes. And we have to say goodbye now to Larissa Geyser, who did an awesome race. So we're really coming close to the final now. Six, five skaters left. Six skaters left, six skaters left. And the Colombians are still in the lead, but Sandrina Tass, who has a really good sprint finish, is still there. But also Francisca Lorobrida is always good in the last lap. And don't forget Dan Guo, Marine Lefebvre. Lorraine Lefebvre in the last position. She has to move up if she wants to continue in this race, but I think it's going to be really hard. Yes. Yes. It's Marine Lefebvre out, and now we're going into the final with the two Colombians, Sandrine Tass, Francesca Lolo Brichida, and Don Guo. But we have four laps to go. To go. So there are no more eliminations. Oh, we go to three in the final, Jan. Oh, that's different than they said before. The three is also nice. So I thought they only changed it with a 5K for juniors, but also in the senior race. Well, that's Sadrina Tass in the back now. Just in front of her, Francesca Lola Bridia. So it's not going to be easy to a battle to, to stay in this race. Woo! Oh, Lola Bridia is out. I think Lola Bridia is out. The world champion from last year crossed the line as in the last position and is probably out. But we have to wait for the official announcement. We don't have an official announcement yet. As soon as we get it, we'll let you know. Or maybe they make a mistake. And they have to finish the race with five skaters. I don't know. They are not making it easier for themselves or for us. So we have no idea, but we're going to the finish line. Even so the judges has no idea. The speaker got no idea. And we're in the final with Johanna Viveros in the lead. Followed by Dan Guo and Francesca Lola Brichida. Yeah, Fiferos is going to win this race. Fiferos is, has 10 meters on Dan Huao, the surprising Chinese girl. And then Francesca Lorda Vidida, who thought he was out, is in third position. So the Colombian Fiferos wins this race just in front of Paul, who is really happy with this result. Looks how happy she is. Yeah, she is really happy. And the Colombian crowd is going crazy. Again. The flag for her again. <laughs> and probably many more times this tournament. Second gold medal from for Team Colombia with Johanna Viveros. Ah, the Chinese girl is so happy.